Now farmers can't even fix their own tractors without breaking law. Blaine Greed, if you ask me. Oh, wait, what's going on? Uh, this is right to repair. So effectively, right to repair. Um, oh, is it because they're repairing really old, outdated? No, 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 no. Equipment? Modern tech. Modern tech. Yeah. So, uh, for example, if that TV broke, yeah, um, there are certain laws saying that I would not be allowed to fix it, and I would have to go through a licensed repair facility. Oh. And you do not want that. Um. So, oh, so specifically, John Deere. Uh, tractors. John Deere tractors? You are oh. not allowed to modify them. You have to bring them back to John Deere? Mm -hmm. And they'll charge you for repairs. Interesting. I've never even, heard of that. Even though, like, chances are a lot of people could do all the repairs themselves. Because it's a... Um... Oh, well, look at that. On the left, they're saying it's intellectual property. Ah! Ah! Cognitive I, dissonance! I, yeah. So... I mean, I'm only looking at this from the, I mean, with intellectual property, it would be like if someone, no, no, that it's not the same because they, well, oh, actually, yeah. what they if someone. They also have stuff in them that makes it impossible to repair without jury, jury rigging it. And it's not great. Warranties make sense, but using warranties as a threat does not. Well, the thing is, if you're, if you're only repairing Apple's your own well, vehicle yep. and you're not offering to make money by modifying everyone else's vehicles to be like your vehicle yeah is there no it, it shouldn't be a, a violation it? this is just them trying to skim a little bit extra mm -hmm. right to repair i guess we could bring back a couple of factories oh uh, did you hear the little dead end of the, of the loan chart a couple of factories back to the u.s you just have to sweeten the deal oh wait so, we this would be like Amazon wanting tax breaks to operate in your area. Oh, oh! I thought it was a situation where we we're trying to discourage people from going overseas and making people oh. work for peanuts. But no, this is to yeah, no deal. Yeah, no deal for that. I sense a disturbance in the media. Some powerful people are plotting a smear campaign against us. Uh oh! I wonder what it'll be. Will you include dental and vision coverage in our Medicare for All? Oh my. We'd be even better than Canada. Yes. Better than we Canada. That's the ideal. We were talking about this early Suck on. Suck it, hat. <laughs> the health insurance industry is spending millions of attack ads and lobbying. Some Democrats are defecting. Oh no, we've lost. We're at 50-50. We're at Wait, why were people... Oh, was it the health care? Yeah. The health care people It's lobbying. attack ads and stuff. Oh. Mandatory minimum sentences are only adding to mass incarceration. The Department of Justice can abandon them for federal prosecutions. Oh, wait, one minute. So, minimum sentences. Is this, like, a, a certain crime has a minimum sentence of this and such, and then they're able to increase it or decrease it depending on the severity mm -hmm. of the crime? Like, which, which kind of minimum sentence are we talking about here? Things like minimum five years for petty larceny. Mm, mm hmm It's interesting because with things like murder, people get let off way too easily. So what's on the left? I fear backlash. I fear backlash. Does that... It doesn't seem to affect anyone. But this one, this one alienates the security, but increases favor with the justice people. Okay. I mean, you can go with abandon. Listen, America was built on 200 years of, oh, reparations, but we don't, we don't have the support. We really don't have the support now. Mm-hmm. Cripes, big pharma scamming us. What if we pegged the price of prescription drugs to those in peer countries? Oh, wait, what does this mean? So this is like making insulin 15 bucks because it's the same price in, uh, you know, another country where it's Oh, so we're making bucks. our our prices the same as peer countries? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, let's, that seems to help a lot of people, but... oh. Scandalgate! Leaked email reveal the Democratic Party's dirty secrets. But what are they? 
The Scandalgate email revealed there are illegal immigrants interning for the government. Affirmative action, minutia. Wait a minute. So, I thought affirmative action was to help it, minorities in, in, general, in general. Yeah. But. Whereas the other one is just like, eh, it's just details. Or they don't matter. I'm not entirely sure on this one. Well, it's interesting because it's one thing to to hire minorities. It's another to hi hire illegal immigrants. But at this... Mm -hmm. I mean, earlier we said path to citizenship anyway. So, like, all in. Also, screw you, Fox News. <laughs> what about all the private jet flights emerged from the Scandalgate leak? We'll fly less. What was this? Private jet flights? Oh, well, yeah, we we don't need to fly. Trains. Trains. Read it. Regarding Scandalgate, are you apologizing to the offended sex worker? Sure. Oh, wait, 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 what, what happened? The Wonder, other one was I, I just didn't get to, I didn't get to read that. What was it? Can you go over it again? Wanda, you're going way too fast for me. I want to go to bed. I know you want to go to bed, but who knows how long will, this will last. How many of these cards do they have written out? So many. Is there, is okay. there an end? So, I apologize for conspiracy theories. Oh, are you apologizing to the offended sex worker? Not for something that you did, right? I think this is specifically in regards to Stormy Daniels, maybe? Maybe not. I have no idea. Uh, I hope it's not something our our character Who did. Who knows? Ah, uh, we have no way to know who owns what. Capital is fleeing in hundreds of shell companies. It would be a shame if medical research came to a halt because you killed all the healthcare industry's profits. Oh. It's already publicly funded. <laughs> The IRS has been gutted. If we want to recover lost revenue, we need to fund it more. Sure. Two million Americans are at risk of eviction right now. Give them tenant protections and support in court. Yeah, I mean, we don't want people to be... Is this regarding coronavirus or just in general? I think some... A lot of these are kind of current-ish events. These are recent... The Amazon workers are occupying warehouses now. These hooligans are wrecking the whole economy. Negotiate. I mean, we already know why they're... We they demand living that. wages, better benefits, and a plan to put Amazon under public ownership within 10 years. Wait. A plan to put Amazon under public ownership within 10 years? I, I mean... Yeah, it is kind of funny that some of our decisions are finally starting to come back around. This I, is this I do is appreciate kinda... it. Well, it's it's weird though because it's not like we want Amazon to get abolished entirely, but it's one it's one of those things or to be taken over entirely by the government. It's just that I mean, they they I, need living wages, but I, you just I'm gonna, we're I'm not gonna flip it to around a little bit. Rip it. I'm going to say Amazon at this point has become a public service. Well, the problem is they're they're also putting USPS and Oh, I don't know. They're putting a lot of the stores and stuff out of work. I mean, maybe people can say capitalism and survival of the fittest, but but I I would it is straight destroying up I would straight up lot. say that like we are hitting the point where Amazon is indispensable and that's a problem. Mm -hmm. And so we have two options: is either break them up, or yeah, publicize them. Mm -hmm. Sure. It is not reasonable when the strike is over. Amazon will meet all demands, but it'll stay private. Oh no. Okay. Will it, it will it meet the demands but stay private though? Will it? Sure. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a compromise, but they they have to they have to go by it. Oh my god, are we still subsidizing oil exploration? Isn't it so 20th century? Stop the subsidies. Give legacy workers housing assistance. Some jobs just ain't coming back. Folks may have to move. Housing for all. 
Enough with the vague retraining BS. If obsolete workers want to retrain, offer them free college education. Uh, uh, I mean, sure. Yeah, we're now we're in a bad deficit situation. We are printing money like the Weimar Republic here. <laughs> uh, could you try to contain the deficit, please? Cap and trade didn't reduce air pollution in poor communities. Carbon negative green projects need to be local. Toxic, your cap and trade scheme is giving polluters free emission permits. At least we could sell them, duh. Yep. Crisis on Wall Street, markets plot, and government regulation. Regulators warned about risky leverage lending. So, what's the economist saying? Yes. A handful of banks are solely responsible for this financial crisis, but they're too big to fail. Bail them out. No. Yeah, no. 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 Well, this time we can take them over. Bank nationalization is actually rather common. Isn't this what a lot of presidents So we might be in trouble Jackson, here? The, Let's do... One minute, one minute, one minute. So, nationalizing the banks does create a situation where the government is in control of too much. I mean, uh, what about those crashes and... I forget the historical relevance there of There was this. the whole Jackson thing, where Jackson broke up the banks or something along those lines. But were those just two banks that had gotten too big for their britches, or I, I forget the... On? Well... Wreck everything. Yeah, maybe later. I mean, it won't pass. Okay, Andrew me. Jackson hated national banks and and uh, he tried hated to the national them. banks and made them die. Okay, yeah, it won't pass now. If you notice, it needs we need a little bit more support. Yeah. Budget item: black budget. It's a secret. What? what? No. It's a secret. I could tell you, but I'd have to kill you. <laughs> Joking, of course. You tell me. CIA, NSA, secret wars, illegal detention centers, the sensitive, the embarrassing, the unpopular. Cut it. Cut. Weird. The estate tax is full of loopholes. It's almost like it's designed by very wealthy people. What can? Those loopholes. Those loopholes. The death tax deserves to die. Americans brace for the latest expropriation. Cool news. You know, we could raise taxes on corporations that have obscene pay gaps between CEOs and workers. Sounds good. I mean, yeah, I mean, talking about the obscene pay gaps, when you have a... One minute, whoa, whoa, whoa what is he saying? First. Create a task force for graffiti and littering. It doesn't address crime, but it lowers the perception of crime. Whoa, wait, one minute? I mean, I definitely do not like littering, and graffiti... It is art. I actually... So, you know how... Okay, okay. Maybe they should specifically hire people for f well, fun I, I, artwork. I was going to say... Like, but I don't like it when you see trains yeah. covered in stuff, and when you see public build... Like, people should not be... What I want is a task force that hires graffiti buildings. artists to make cool graffiti art. Uh, the Apple store down, downtown got busted into a couple... I guess a week ago now and they put up black boards in front of the window so people don't break it more and it is just covered in some of the most beautiful graffiti that I've seen pop up in a week mm -hmm. you know from just people I don't but know graffiti notice is how it's like the lowers the perception of crime Wall Street the street is on strike investors dump assets stocks dip down retirement funds lose value grandmas get upset oh no what, is, what, are, what are they saying? Wander? Your reforms first? are popular, but the optics could be better. You should publicly condemn, condemn communism. It's bad, or communism is complex. Whoa, wait, what did you just do? Well, Wander! Shell. What did you just do? He's saying publicly condemn cap uh, communism. We're just going full socialism here. The they kind of go oh, hand in hand. Oh, but when are you going to start tipping to the point where everyone and everything belongs to the government and no one... Has anything? 
no one has any value or wealth for themselves. I just feel like the whole like condemning co communism thing just turns it into a buzzword as opposed to an actually, uh, you know, worth cons not considering. But like, yeah, there are good and bad points to to both. I feel like mass pub uh, publicized. I'm not gonna say businesses, but like, there are certain things that absolutely need to. Because I wouldn't want to become a Russia or a China. No, but is well, that because I mean those they... are changed heavily, so they're not. Neither of those are communist societies anymore, anyway. Well, in a in a way, they're only using their well both both are full capitalists at this point. Might to I, I would say a bunch of the help the... oligarchs and stuff. Yeah, but no, when and... it comes down to it, like. I don't think everything should be pri privatized, but I feel like all the things that have no, you you mean you mean hmm? you you just said you don't believe everything should be privatized. Sorry, I don't think everything should be privatized, and I don't think everything should be publicized. But I feel like a lot of things that are so standard in our lives that we have no choice but to have them should be should have a very strong public option. Which is why we were in support of healthcare. Yeah, being managed by the and government. so just condemning it outright for optics is stupid, and honestly would only come back to bite uh, the idea of socialism in the ass. Because currently, you know, we're pushing for a lot of socialism stuff in the U.S., and everybody's like, "But communists are bad," and it's like, "No." It's interesting though because with many of our, and many of the things that we've chosen have helped the poor, have helped the environment, have helped. Uh, hold the rich accountable for how they treat their their workers and make them pay their fair share into supporting the you know the cities the the nation and such so that they're giving back an appropriate amount because of all the you know assets that they use and all the manpower that they take uh, what are other things it's just it's interesting because the people that especially rail against it are afraid of losing their own position of power in the system mm. and their own wealth and such. In any case, what is he saying? Oh boy, midterm elections are here again. You ready? Okay. Well, we were able to claim back well, that's things. Because. Well, we made historic gains in the Senate. We'll have more agency, but let's not get too big-headed. Lord Monsanto controls near about all seeds. We have to reform patents because this ain't working for us. Oh, I mean, buyer so now. Monsanto, if you guys don't know, they genetically modified a number of produce so that, and the thing is they patented the process and the seeds that they make. So if you have Monsanto, Monsanto seeds, on your property or like you're growing them then you had to kind of get uh like you had to buy from officially from the source isn't it that you can't make your own yeah like you can't keep and reading if them. their field infects yours it's considered copyright theft and yeah you have to so get rid imagine of if someone stock. yeah someone else's seed somehow got into your property yeah isn't that funny? Actually, it's Bayer now. Yep. Does Bayer own Monsanto? I think they rebranded. But Bayer, wow, okay. Let's create an international fund to support the investigation of tax invaders. Hey, new music. Or invaders. I think. Okay. Yeah, you turned off the music. No, it's the same music. Dang it. Okay. Well, I'll just turn it off periodically. Carbon sinks are valuable assets under cap and trade, so forests are being enclosed and communities displaced. Not good. Boy, what's going on? Carbon sinks, what about that? How are people being displaced? Are you actually even so, reading these? Yes, I am reading these. What that means is because forests are being enshrined as important things, uh, there's not as much room for people. Uh-huh. I mean, that. what would help is if people didn't overpopulate the planet. Yeah. But in any case... Opinion! Class warfare is raging. It's time for dialogue. What? We're overtaxing our wealthy donors. Please, let's give them an itty-bitty tax cut. Never. Oh, look, 
it's an artiste. Is it some kind of pigeon or something? Millionaires are now unable to trade artworks in order to dodge taxes. The art world is doomed. We hate fine art anyway. Artists but must suffer. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, guys. See, we're we're we we are artists ourselves, and we are fine. Well, we we love. Can you please turn the music off if it's going to be doing yep. this to us? Told you. Uh, okay. We're artists, but so our kind of art is definitely different from their kind of art. We we make a lot of sci-fi, fantasy, fun, cute things. And I, I attend some conventions and saw my artwork. And ultimately, we would like to be able to contribute artwork to, say, a game or or maybe our, our own franchise if we ever create a comic or things of that nature. I'd love to work on my own concept art for my own projects and such. But what they were referring to there was, you know, those very ritzy parties where people are bidding on these you know, million, billion dollar paintings and such. I, I suppose they were implying that that's how people get around taxes and, and whatnot. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But the artists that are quote unquote suffering, are, are they really the common artists or are they no. those super rich, ritzy? Yeah, the, the, this is, the, these aren't even artists for the most part. Oh, people are talking about the blank canvases that sell. I haven't read her thing. Judging by the Scandalgate receipts, you seem awfully concerned for your personal safety. Oh, okay, so you spent some money? Yeah. Okay. Eh. Maybe you overindulged. We must impose complete transparency regarding the ownership of offshore companies. Yep. Yeah. Make them disclose. A cable from the Cayman Islands... Money laundering is part of our cultural heritage. You're being insensitive. Yep, nope. Oh, wait, what's going on? So, we've been called out? Wait, but how is it their cultural heritage to launder money? I... What? They're, it's a facetious argument. But it's gonna... It's making a lot of people oh, angry. Well. Oh, well. Oh, well. I Do the right thing. Old miners are gonna learn how to code. Offer them genus early to early retirement. Yeah, probably. If they're old, yeah, definitely. You know, subsidied renewables made offshore oil drilling unprofitable. Here's some mass layoffs for you. Uh, now we're seeing repercussions. Not really, actually. Scandal gate is a distraction, and we need to stop talking about it. The war on coal is real. The Green New Deal keeps destroying jobs. Boy, howdy. Yeah, we're starting to see a lot of repercussions. Even though we, we kept throwing money at it and mm -hmm. hoped that they would it would help it, It's them. one of those where I, I'm actually glad that the consequences we're facing are we're a little starting to pile later. Up. Yeah, I appreciate mm -hmm. it now. I do feel like some of the ben the long-term benefits haven't shown up yet, though. And maybe it's also showing that we have to pick and choose our battles. Kind of. That Absolutely. In any case, go on. Companies can import meat and pass it as American. Trade agreements are all messed up. Enforced <gasps> labels. Yeah, enforced labels. Ooh, the globalists are not happy. Oh, well. I'm no fan of inspection, but Donald Skunk has lowered food standards and screwed up honest folks. Raise the standards. Yeah, raise the standards. Our wealth tax is disincentivizing the rich from hoarding wealth. They're spending it like crazy. Well then. Is America ready to cover gender-affirming medical procedures for trans people? Oh, I really hope so. I mean, yeah. Sure. Dang, some hospitals depended on inflated prices to be profitable. Now they're shutting down, poor things. Oh, wait, let's see what's going on. So with the before, before thing with the trans procedures, it's so that it's covered under health care so that they yeah, can get the hormones the, and the yeah, gender the reassignment. Yeah, the gender reassignment surgery should not be elective, but that if if it truly does matter to you enough to, to physically change your outward presentation that much, then yeah. I realize... I think frivolous things would be if a jobs. woman wanted giant breast implants yeah but it's one of those things where 
I mean, you can't do half measures with yeah. support like that. Mm -hmm. You can't... I, I realize that for a lot of people, it does... It is elective. Because it, it's not saving your life. But at the same time, it is defining your life. In a way that, like... Almost is. Uh, the mental health benefits of actually having... Presenting as your current, uh, your correct gender, your preferred gender, your chosen gender is a lot more important. I don't know. In any case, uh, so hospitals depended on. I would actually say save them profitable. in this situation. There's a lot of like rural hospitals that cannot be profitable without support. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to go into a deficit. What is it doing for? It's a minor one. Okay. Energy storage. What's happening? Energy storage needs to be much cheaper in order to make renewables reliable. Yeah, sure. research and develop. Our healthcare plan could cover long-term care, mental health, and substance abuse. Wouldn't that be nice? Yep. I mean, it would be great because if we got mental health and substance abuse, I mean, that would I wish you'd actually see crime. some of these kind of randomly lower as unseen benefits to some of these decisions or negatives. Yeah, because maybe some of those hardliners that would be opposed to your policies would actually be helped by some of them. I think mm -hmm. we did have instances where some people came forward. Because of your absurd pay gap tax, CEOs are now making only 50 times more than the average employees. Cool. <laughs> uh, wow, who knew that tighter tax audits on the rich would recover so much lost revenue? Bam. Your <laughs> capital control measures are well working. Investors are upset, but they can't easily move their money abroad. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh we've been loving that fake plant-based meat. Oh, that meat. fake plant-based meat is damaging the cattle industry. Ban it for good. No, get out no, of here. No, it's sustainable. We, we like our plant-based meat. Wow, look at our carbon emissions. Yep. Just how, how much lower they are and how everyone's power is up. Former Guantanamo detainees are suing us for mistreatment, lack of due process, torture, extraordinary rendition settle. Yay! The expansion of Medicare is going so well. You only have to allocate a little more budget to it. Pretty please? Yeah. Woo. Woo-hoo. Oh. Woo -ho, look at that. That's good. But if you're increasing the taxes for it, it sets people back. Heavy. Doesn't, doesn't lose the... Oh gosh, I hope we can make up for that money. Opinion, Medicare for all is doomed to fail. Trust me, I'll work for the health insurance industry. Boom, national cap on rent increases. Stop those landlords. Stop. Public housing has a bad rep because the projects are underfunded. What are you gonna do? Wait, wait. Public housing has a bad rep because the products are underfunded? Wait, so we're going to demolish them, but that's going to ruin things for a lot of people. Funding them is going to put us more into debt, but we need we need more affordable housing. Whoopee! As single payer, we were able to negotiate better prices with healthcare providers and big pharma. Yep, wow, all the it. deficit's gone. Fine, we're moving... Our Cayman Islands money back to the U.S., but we expect a ta tax break. No. No, never. Thanks to increased funding, the IRS was able to bust more tax evaders than ever. Unbelievable. It turns out when you legalize immigrants, they start paying some income taxes. <laughs> what happened to the budget? <laughs> oh, I love that. Everything, all of the cows are coming back to pasture. Dude, private health insurances are going up for going out of business. You better invest in workers retraining. Sounds fair. Yeah, yeah, they can retrain. Energy created with taxpayer payer money. It better be sold to municipal and worker-owned utilities. Yeah. Greed is a necessary evil. Get <laughs> but this. Power to the workers. Yeah, I mean it is a necessary evil as it is one of the primary ones, but it is not necessary for us. A very nice side effect of ending wars is that we have less veterans to heal, more resources for everybody. Oh. Housing segregation belongs to our racist past. Tell municipalities, inclusionary zoning, or no federal funds. Sure. Yeah. 
Cops are overused. We need unarmed first responders trained to handle mel mental health issues and minor conflicts. Holy shit, this right now. This... Mm -hmm. I'm a... I'm pointing at my monitor. You can't see it. It's fine. Yeah, because... It's actually fine. Cops are not mental health professionals. They... We... We need law enforcement to some degree, just because no matter what, crime will happen. But they do not have to be the first line of defense when it comes to a lot of things. Because, like... Think of how many different hats most cops would have to wear in any situation just to... Because they have to enforce traffic, domestic abuse, and like theft, there's so many different damage, ways you could specialize theft, them and have different like, people and them. roles. Yep. Um, uh, this is actually... Uh, uh, I, I, I'm sure some of you guys have seen the hashtag for abolish the police and the way it was described to me and explained to me is that it's not to abolish the police entirely, but to reform them as something better than just, like, a single force trained to handle... Poorly trained over six months tops to handle every ill that our, soci our society has to deal with. Because they're not trained well. Most of them don't even have basic sensitivity training properly. And, yeah. And the other thing, too, is... Hopefully, with all of these social reforms that we've been pushing for, pushing for you won't even the game, need as much law enforcement. Because then you wouldn't have people stealing quite as often if they had happy home situations. Well, not happy home situations necessarily, but if they knew that they could provide themselves with a home like with food and if they always had oh yeah affordable crime home drops housing. heavily if people are all living well and health care and a whole host of other things people wouldn't be put in dire situations and be given the, if you had the mental health support what which that they're referring to here it would help people with abuse and drugs and violence and a whole host of things so i just mm -hmm. i like this this is a great way of phrasing it mm -hmm. good idea many communities don't have access to basic banking services what if we turned every post office into a bank cool i like that i actually would i would like the post offices to be Oh, but would they be like a, would they be like a national bank then? Yeah, kind of. I mean, they already handle. Don't some of them handle checks? Yeah, or I mean, to some degree, I feel orders. like a, money orders. That's yeah. what they do. They do but money orders. I feel like a, a national ish bank, uh, for a lower common denominator. So again, if people want to go for the private option, sure, that's there. But the private option has to compete with the public option, which will force them to innovate and actually improve as opposed to anything else. Anyway, boop. Damn those trade agreements. They let corporations ship jobs abroad and screw up American workers. Okay. Oh, the... Yeah, we... Th this was a key thing, too. Is I've seen so many families, even in my area, where people lost their jobs and it was because there was the incentive to move things overseas. And yeah, I, I think we... We can't let corporations that exist and function in the United States offshore everything. Because yep. what they're ultimately doing is they're it, they're using those loopholes in the system to get cheaper labor outside of our borders. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you have to renegotiate. It does hurt pollution oh, a oh, little bit. Oh, it does bit. hurt pollution a little bit. I mean, pollution in our country, but that's the other thing, too. Do you know how much plastic we ship out to yeah. Pacific Islands? That that increases pollution in our area, but it does not help the rest of the world. Bad climate for business. Capital disinvestment triggers crisis layoffs. Time flies. We're at the end of your presidency. I'll admit I'm glad it's over. Change is so stressful. Good job, comrade. The working class is more organized militant than ever. We're building socialism as we speak. This is so awesome. We met our emissions targets and proved that decarbonization is possible. So much hope. All the fiscal conservatives predicted doom and gloom, but we are leaving office with a budget surplus. 
I'm very proud. Oh, your approval re approval ratings are stellar. We don't mess it up. We'll have another democratic president after you. End of simulation. But wait, this was only one of 18 quintillion possible scenarios. Ready for the next one? No, actually. No. I'm pretty fine with that. We're done. This game is kind of bare bones in a lot of ways, but I'm I'm very glad that we did have those consequences start biting us in the butt. And it was a little dicey there. I, I wish the meters would kind of inexplicably rise and fall in ways that look random to us. Um, but make sense within the context. Yeah, of and maybe after you've beaten it the first time, you could redo it again. Or maybe get like a breakdown for like, what decisions actually worked out and which not so much. Uh, but that said, it was a good platform for us to kind of speak our mind for a while. And yeah, maybe at some point I will... Uh, at some point I, I will load up Democracy 3 sooner than later. Um, uh, just because. Yeah, maybe it's actually good. But yeah, it's a game that makes you think about things. Mm -hmm. And that's why this is important. Not because it's a fantastic game. Though I did like the art style. I... They, they did a good job with the presentation. I just wish it went a little deeper. And I'm very glad I played this. It was fun, and it was very fun to have this open dialogue uh, with so many people. And I guess I'm going to have to go through it again uh, with the YouTube comments. Because, gosh, this is going to attract some interesting ones. I have some messages to moderate tonight on that first video. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> but no, I, I think that this was a great game to be part of the bundle pack yeah because it, it oh, did actually address so many of this the issues was that are one of the first games i even mm -hmm. saw as part of the bundle and that alone made me want to pick it up purely because i think this is the best situation i've ever had to sit down and talk about how i feel about stuff and serious major kudos to uh the live audience at the very least for being very respectful and not actually needing any moderation that I saw. I usually uh, expect at least a couple of people yelling about things. Hell, I was talking about how um, a couple, I, I guess a month or two ago, I was talking about a lot of this stuff and I had it, several people shouting at me and one person even uh, had donated a bunch of money as kind of some kind of weird spite thing to challenge me to do socialism with it. So I donated all the money to the zoo. Uh, which I think is quite fair, but more than just what was given to you. Yeah, I was given like 25, 50 bucks tops, and gave away a lot more than that. The zoo. Mm -hmm. I think that was worth it. But it's interesting because it seems like throughout this game, it really was a a circumstance in which do you fight for progress, even if it seems like in the short term there's going to be some negative consequences. Despite the fact that in the in the distant future, it will actually result in long term gains and actually resolve a lot of the issues that are present from, yeah, the decarbonization and social issues and workers rights and issues and such the evasion of all the taxes and whatnot. And it just seems like people were too afraid and they were too content with how things were currently running to want to enact change. And it, the problem is the system just constantly, it feeds into the, the power structure that we already have currently. And if it's allowed to keep going, then you'll have a system, I don't want to say in perpetuity, that will always favor the rich. Wander? Mm -hmm. Can you yeah. stay in the game? Sorry, I'm At least zoning. a little while longer. I just, I, I was thinking about those comments and I wanted to look and the answer is, yeah. anyway. Mm hmm But no. But the thing is, it it is possible and it is doable and it will create a better future in the long term if some of these policies that were being pushed forward in the game actually came to fruition. Yeah, even if a third of them became reality in the next 10 years, it would, I wouldn't say save the world because the world is always going to need saving from something, but it'll help a lot. 
And it's very important to talk about them openly. That for, like I said in my kind of preamble video for this whole bundle, I purposefully was kind of mum about a lot of my political leanings because I knew it would upset people, but it's more important to talk about this stuff. And I'm glad we got to. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I guess with that, thank you all so much for watching. And we will see you next time. And vote. And vote. If you're if you're Primaries. About the voting age. Yep. Every every election, local, national, primary, prime uh primary and actual main election. Why is I feel like primary is such a weird word to use because I almost would say primary would be the main election, you know, the one that you want to pay attention to. Doesn't matter. Vote for everything. Vote for change and be educated. <laughs>